What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a super welcome to you. Y'all, I am here with a Motivation Monday video. When I tell y'all, I am so excited about today's video because I think that this is something that is really going to help you. There are so many of us who are believers. We are followers of Christ. We love the Lord and we are also in the marketplace. We're called to the marketplace, whether it is through entrepreneurship or just natural responsibility where we have to pay our bills and you work in a corporate setting. Today, I want to encourage you. I want you to write this down, not to put God in the place of my work and also not to make my work my God. Let me break this down to y'all. So when I say not to put God in the place of my work, God cannot work for you. Let me tell y'all what I mean, because I know y'all be like, no, God be working on my behalf. Yes, in the spirit realm, <laughs> but in the natural, God does not build relationships for people. God does not go to the bank and have conversations for investments for people. God does not do research on your behalf, okay? So you cannot put God in the place of your work. Now, I love it. Hear me, y'all. I love it that we trust the Lord enough to go to him and say, Lord, I want to do the things that I know will please you. I want to do the things that built wealth, but I also can keep my integrity. So you have a standard and morals in the work that you do, but understand that the standard and the morals are your driving force, but they are not, again, the driver, if you will. You are the driver and the driving force. The thing behind your vehicle and where it is that you're, you're going is your morals and it is your standards. So again, if you're one who's kind of praying and you're like, God, when are things gonna change? When is the door going to open? I am telling you that there are doors that will never open if you don't put in the work to do research and show the Lord, I have enough knowledge that if you open this door, I actually have some value to bring behind this open door that I'm walking in. So again, you cannot put God in a place of your work. As a licensed realtor, God is not gonna go knock on doors for me. As a licensed realtor, he's not gonna take my con in. As a licensed realtor, he's not gonna sit here and record the videos that I need to record or put my marketing strategy together. The Lord does not do that. He's not going to do that. That is your job, okay? So do not try to put God in the place of your work asking him to do or when will this thing happen and you have not done your work. And the other side of that, is not making work your God. Because there is a place for God in our lives, right? He is the center of it all. He is the start, he is the finish. Honestly, I like to say it as he is the essence. He's the essence of it all. He is not my God, he is, work is not my God. God is my God. He is my savior. He is the reason really that I'm breathing. He is the reason that I know that I can do these things. He is the one who has called me to this space that I am in. So I don't look and praise and magnify work and make it my God to the point that when things are not going well in work, I'm completely broken or to the point that if things are going well, that I'm praising or honoring my work itself. But no, I give all praise and glory and honor to God because I know that without him, I would not be breathing. Without him, I would not even have a sound mind to be able to achieve the level of work that I am achieving. So again, it is so important that as you are pursuing marketplace and that as you are working and just pressing forward to create a better life for yourself and your family and your future, that you do not put God in place of your work because he doesn't do research or create marketing strategy, but also that you do not make work your God. This world will try to make work and securing the bag the big thing, right? When it is a part, especially in America, okay? If you ain't got no money, it's over with. <laughs> Let's just be real right there. But I understand that I work and money is a resource to me. It is not a God. It is not my God. He is my source. And when I am in lack, I can go to him 
for wisdom. I don't have to go outside of the standard. I don't have to go outside of my morals. I don't have to go outside of my faith to generate income and operate in my business. So I want to give you three keys that is going to help you keep this principle alive in your life. Okay. Major key, major recipe. All right. So thing number one is going to be to make God your business partner. Literally when you are going in for business, this is separate from just your time that you spend with God just because he's good and he is your Lord and savior, right? That's just time where I'm able to come and worship him. That's not what we're talking about. I'm speaking specifically to the building of your business and creating wealth in the marketplace. I want you to make God your business partner. So when you go to brainstorm, when you go to write the vision, when you go to write that plan and write that marketing strategy, as you're writing and you're thinking of your business, whether you're a realtor or a fashion designer, or you're about to create courses or whatever the case may be, I want you to go to God and I want you to say to him, Lord, enlighten my mind. Help me to tap in. If you've called me to this space, there are obviously opportunities that I can create that are on the inside of me. And as I'm brainstorming, I'm believing that heaven is going to be downloading. As I'm writing down ideas, I know that heaven is going to be downloading because I've made God my business partner in this. I don't want you to pursue, 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 and then ask God to touch. I want you to be working hand in hand with the Lord in all of your pursuits. That's the, that's the key right there. Work hand in hand with God in all of your pursuit, pursuits. Do not pursue, 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 and then ask God to touch or to bless. All right. That's major key, major recipe. Number one, thing number two, and this is going to help you. This is going to help you so much. I want you to search the scripture for what the Bible actually says about wealth and business. Because many of us, it, it, it's crazy. Again, our relationship with God may be something that has been passed down through generations. Maybe your parents, your grandparents, you kind of grew up in the church or, you know, they were believers, men and women of God. And so you have this idea where I know that God is real. I know that he's big. I know that he created this world. I know what he can do, but I know what he can do through, again, through generational belief, not necessarily through my own time and my own belief. But if I can read in his word and I, I can read for myself, I didn't just hear somebody else say that he gives me the power to get wealth then that's an entirely different process now when I'm making him my business partner because I see what he's capable of. All right, something just switched. Something just switched. Because when you go to choose a business partner, you are not choosing somebody who's not capable of getting you to or getting your business to the level that you see it. With God, we won't partner with him because we don't see his capabilities because we don't read his word. Oh, baby, what? Okay, that that's not even where I was trying to go today. That's probably going to be a whole different video about really, truly partnering with God, how and why. But I want you to search the scripture for what the Bible says about business and wealth. And I need you to add that to your daily prayer. Add that before you and God go into your, your set meetings, okay? I want you to start reading his word. Read it. Your word says that you do this. Your word says that you can do that. Your word says that if I can do this, I can have that. But hold on. Don't just stop there because y'all are partners, which means you got to bring something too. So while you go and you read his word and you read his capabilities before y'all get into this business meeting, you have to also acknowledge your capabilities as well. I'm capable of being consistent. The things that I learned, the things that I brainstorm, this marketing strategy that we put together, I'm going to be consistent in walking this thing out. So I want you to search the scripture for what the Bible says about wealth and business. But lastly, okay, because remember, we're not putting God in place of our work. I also want you to perfect your craft. Perfect your craft. Again, you cannot be looking for the biggest amounts of money. You cannot be looking for the biggest opportunities, the greatest doors, next level clients, and you are not perfecting what you have to offer. If your offerings 
are not massive and knowledgeable and sharp. You can't expect your money to be as well. So our major recipe and our major keys is one, to make God your business partner. When you go in to brand, brainstorm and to work and to strategize, do it with the Lord. Do not pursue, pursue, and ask God to touch. Pursue everything that you touch with the Lord. Two, search his word for scripture on business and wealth. And number three is to perfect your craft. Listen, that is today's motivation. I want you to take that with you all week long. If you got to watch this over and over again, I want you to do that. But I also want you to share it with someone because we are going to perfect this thing. We are going to close and bridge that gap of following Jesus and also seeing success and wealth in the marketplace. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, I need you to do me a huge favor. I want you to like, I want you to comment, and I want you to subscribe to this channel because I'm coming every Monday with motivation to keep you pushing and keep you going. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.